What's up guys, Guardian Grafton, we are back, and you might realize I haven't uploaded in a week, that's because I said take that week off, and I was actually planning on uploading, and you might see right over there, I was planning on making one zoo video, and like a Minecraft build hacks video, but uh, in the zoo video, uh, something happened with the recording, and it didn't save, and yeah, that kind of sucked, so I couldn't do that, and then with the uh, build hacks thing, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it, so I decided not to do it, but uh, so anyway, uh, this right here was what was supposed to be an episode from last week, because I was planning on uploading Tuesday and Thursday, just taking the weekend off, but uh, yeah, I just figured that I didn't really like it, but uh, like one of the videos, and the other one didn't save, so I, just, I was just like, I'm not wanting to do another zoo video, so I just decided to take the whole like week off, but uh, so anyway, uh, this right here is the deer exhibit, so uh, luckily it wasn't that big, that, you know, major of an animal. You didn't miss too much. Uh, I just kind of added in this nice railing. I added barriers like, uh, where, where are they? Like right here. Just to kind of keep them from getting close. Because at first the fences were like the only thing on the ground. Because I, I wanted to keep it like woodland like. You know, I didn't want to make it look like I had glass everywhere. Because that just felt like unnecessary and all that. So I just decided to go ahead and do this right here. Just kind of make it look a little bit more realistic. Like they're just going to jump over it. And I still kept the bears in because, you know, uh, it feels kind of natural for a deer not to be going that close to humans, you know. So if there's like a bunch of humans, you know, they don't want to just like walk right up here, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, so yeah, and uh, they have a nice little pond right there, and I kind of made an open area over here, like a feeding ground, and more of a forest area over here. But anyway, so on with the main course of today's episode, we got the brown bear. So, uh, pretty much, um, the zoo, uh, that, that's near me, uh... That was in the tour. I don't know if I put the 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 picture of the bear in my zoo tour, like for Minecraft, because I did I add in some photos for newer people that haven't seen that video. But uh, yeah, so pretty much I did see that. I don't know if I put it in the video or not, like because I actually went to a zoo, so I was just kind of comparing zoo photos of exhibits compared to my zoo. And uh, so I don't know if I put the bear in there, but or not. But anyway, uh, I'm kind of basing this a little bit off of that. Pretty much like. Like, you gotta go in this, like, cave-like thing, and you can get, like, big glass views of it and all that. And kind of just go in and out, whichever side. There's, like, two sides that you can go in and out. And, uh, pretty much surrounding it is just, like, this big stone area. Of course, it's not as granite-like as this is, but, uh, you know, I feel like granite and stone just kind of keep on matching in with this vibe I have going around here. So, I'm just deciding to keep it in. But, uh, yeah. So, I went ahead, got the back area all done. So, now all we gotta do is the tunnel and just decorate the exhibit a little bit. But, uh, so... I already got all the stuff here to start making this tunnel, and, uh, you know, uh, j instead of just sitting around talking about the tunnel, uh, here's a time lapse of me actually doing something for once. Alright, we are back, and, uh, yeah, we have now finished, uh, this main area, so I did this right here just kind of help it kind of, like, translate better. I don't know, I might end up removing it, just kind of let me know what y'all think in the comments, but, uh, so I kind of also added in a little bit of this, and I tried to make it, I tried to make it a little bit more spherical, a little bit, just to where it doesn't, like, instantly slope, and I added a little bit of plant life here and there, so that way it kind of looked a little bit more decorative. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't look half bad. Here's the inside of, like, the little cave, viewing cave area. So, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Now we need to go ahead and actually start getting to work on a few things. So, first off, uh, we got to pretty much do some terraforming. You know, everyone's favorite thing to do. So, uh, pretty much what I have mainly planned is have a lot of stones just kind of in the back and, uh, kind of more around, uh, more stones over there. I kind of want like a tiny little waterfall that kind of like slowly maybe curves down. I don't know. The one at the zoo that I went to had like kind of like a so, like, little waterfall that kind of came down and had like a river going to about right there. And the bear was just kind of always chilling in that. And that's what I kind of want to do. And here's something I did find out about brown bears in this. 
in this mod pack, or not mod pack, uh, store pack, DLC, whatever you really want to call it, uh, they don't move. Like, I don't know why, but they literally do not move. The only time they ever move is like a baby bear, and that's only whenever you slap it with something. So, yeah, um, kind of got a problem there, which is kind of why I want to have like an area to make it look like it just like, you know, like it's just chilling in water, because like the one at Mizu was just chilling in water all the time. So, yeah, that's why we're going to be trying to do that, but, uh, so... Pretty much, we're going to have, like, a bunch of gravel and coarse dirt as, like, the ground, pretty much. And I might have the ground raise a little bit right back in there. And, uh, pretty much, uh, it's just going to be kind of, like, coarse dirt and some gravel mixed in. And then I'm also going to have, like, a bunch of stones and all that is kind of sprinkled around. But, uh, so, yeah, I'm sure no one really wants to watch a bunch of terraforming. So, uh, yeah, we'll be right back. Alright, so, uh, while I was terraforming, I decided to go ahead and do the lake, considering it wasn't, like, really that big of a deal, all it really was, just kind of like a bit of water, and I decided to make it kind of come out of here, and I added some coal blocks in the back right over there, just kind of make it look like it's, you know, just kind of make it look like it's really dark back in there, so that way it kind of looks more natural, because I feel, really do not feel like, a, like an entire water system back through here. As much as it would be cool to have, like, another waterfall where it runs down through here and connects up to that, I really just don't want to do that, so, uh, yeah, we're not going to really even bother attempting to worry about that today. But, so, anyway, uh, we got to go ahead and get going on with the rest of the stuff. So, uh, first off, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, we'll go ahead and get the rocks and all that sorted out. So, uh, first off, um, I want to make some decent sized rocks. So, I want, like, and I want them to have, like, a significant amount of cobblestone. So, I want rocks to be about, some about like this here and about like that. And uh, pretty much it's just going to kind of kind of ramp up a little bit to where it's about like here. It goes there, there, and about like that. Or what about, about like that. And then uh, I can also just kind of add in some slabs and all that around it. Just that way it looks a little bit more realistic. And right here I'll just kind of do that. And there we go. So and then I just got to go ahead and mix in some cobblestone with that. Just kind of make it uh, look a little bit more realistic and all that. But, uh, it still looks pretty much the same. So, uh, we're pretty much done with most of that. But, uh, I do want to hold on to it. Because I do plan on making, like, some more flatter, smoother rocks. So, about, like, this here. And also throwing in some cobblestone with it as well. About, like, this. And then also maybe just trying to get a little bit of these little, uh... Just kind of make it, like, poke out a little bit. I kind of want one tree. And this tree right here will be about like that. And I kind of want to kind of look like it's overhanging the water a little bit to where like the branches or or this one branch is just kind of getting a little bit close to the water while this other branch over here is just kind of chilling growing over here you know just trying to mind its own business staying away from that other like pretty much just not trying to reach out as far as just more focused on going up and uh then i just want to go ahead and uh i feel like i should do a combination of birch and spruce we've so just that way it keeps that nice forest feel while I also like I don't want it to look like a pond tree but I don't want it to fully look like a uh like kind of like a normal tree either I kind of want it to feel like wintry and all that without it feeling you know like a pond tree so we're just going to kind of do this right here just to help kind of blend it a little bit better so something about like this here with a little bit more leaves like so and some about like that and it should be just fine and then I also want to go ahead and just kind of get a little bit of spruce in here. Just to kind of make it look a little bit more sloped, I guess you could say. So about like that there. And maybe not that right there, but about like that right there. To where it just kind of looks a little bit more sloped. And then it tips off with two up there. And uh, I don't know if it... I think if we could do one more because we do want it to be like a forest. Like a little bit like a forest, but you know, we still don't want it to be fully like a forest. But uh, we can do it right here a little bit closer. So... Uh, this tree right here will be pretty much the exact same as all the others. I was hoping I could find a way to make it look a little bit different, but, uh, you know, I can't really do that without making it look like a brand new type of tree. Anyway, uh, first off, let's go ahead and get some kind of birch leaves just kind of like scattered out in the back right over here. So about like this here. Maybe just make it go up a little bit higher so that way it's more noticeable. And uh, another one about right over here. So there we go. I think that should be enough bushes. I don't feel like we need any more, so we can just go ahead and clear, clear that. I don't really think I'm. I don't really think we're gonna need it. But uh, let's go ahead and get some peonies in here, cause uh, why not? This kind of adds in some extra bit of color. So there we go. We want to try and space them out a little bit. But uh, now we are good on that, and we can go ahead and get some dead bushes, just kind of put around here and there, for that extra little bit of detailing. 
Just uh, something about like that right there. Just a little kind of like hay bed. And uh, that should be good. So now, last thing we got to do is just go ahead and add in that uh, water. And actually what I do want to do, maybe just get a little bit of double tall grass and put it around the edges around here. Just that way it does keep a little bit of a pondish vob. I don't know. It's just something that I kind of like to do around ponds now, just to make them look a little bit more spicy. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it should be good now. Now I can just go ahead and get some flowers. Not flowers. Uh, get some grass. Just kind of spread it out a good bit. And try to destroy a good bit of these flowers. I might leave a few of them in here and there, but, uh, I want most of them to pretty much be destroyed. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, put this in. Okay, never mind. We're not going to put you right there. We'll put you a little bit. Okay, I got a better idea. Let's, uh... Come on, I don't want to do this the hard way, but we can make it the easy way. Let's make him like, because since he does not really move, he only like turns around like the flamingos. Like, see, he only like pretty much does that. Okay, uh, I'm going to have to get rid of that andesite slab, so that way it can fit. So see, he's kind of like on the edge right there, like he might be trying to catch some fish or something. What happens if I do put some fish in there, actually? Maybe actually not cod, because the cod can maybe actually cause an issue. Salmon, they're kind of more like what you'd imagine to be the bear's more natural food. So maybe like three salmon in here should be just fine. Now you move. Is he like trying to get the salmon without getting in the walk? Are you okay? Calm down. Get back here annoying fish there we go there you happy now and now i'm gonna have to teleport you to another zoo you're going to the san diego zoo because why not and i'm just going to pick up all these remains that uh are leftovers from being teleported let's go and put another bear in and actually uh i'd like to get where is it uh where would it be at actually uh so well uh, you know just kind of uh put in some berry bushes here and there so and plus uh bears eat berries Fun fact, that's why they're called bears. Not really. I mean, it might be why. I don't know. I didn't look that up. I mean, you can. But, uh, yeah. That's why I like to think bears are named bears. Because they eat berries. That's why. But, uh, let's go ahead and kind of get a little bit of berry bushes in here. And uh, let's go ahead and name it. Uh, it's just going to be Dot. If anyone wants to make any name suggestions for any of these animals in this zoo, let's go ahead and do it. I mean, it's not really going to do much. But, uh, you know, it kind of is nice to just know, you know, that this zoo I'm going to be keeping will have an animal that you named on it and uh yeah here is it from the interior what the tourists would be seeing and all that and uh yeah it's not half bad so uh anyway uh if you guys did enjoy uh please make sure to leave a like and subscribe it'd be really appreciated and as always catch you guys next time peace out